Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of R Programming Language. In this video, I'll be talking about data types in R. So R supports multiple data types with the likes of logical, numeric, integer, complex, character, and raw. Let's discuss it one by one. First, here comes the logical. Logical data type in R is also known as a Boolean data type. It can have two values, true or false. Let's see it here. I'm just assigning true to the A. In order to print the uh, data type of this A, I will be using the class, class function, right? So we have a class available. Let's see what's a class of A. It's returning logical as expected, right? So logical data type is also known as a Boolean one and it can have two values, true or false. Let's move to the next point. Next is we have a numeric data type. The numeric data type represents all real numbers with or without decimal values. Let's take some example. Let's suppose we got this uh, weight available. So I'm assigning here uh, maybe 66.7 something, right? So class of weight, let's see what we are getting in this case. It's showing numeric, right? As expected. So the numeric one are nothing but the or real numbers with or without decimal values, right? Next is integer data type. The data data type uh, specifies the real values without decimal points. We can use, we have to use suffix L to specify the integer data. Uh, what I'm saying like, uh, let's suppose if we have this uh, T available, I'm assigning maybe uh, 34L. I need to write L here as a, as a suffix, okay, to represent the integer data type. If I print the class of this, uh, class of this uh, T, it will be coming out to be integer. You can see it here, right? So this is my third data type. The fourth one is a complex data type. The complex data type is used to specify purely imaginary values in R. We have to use suffix I to specify the imaginary part. We all have uh, learned this in our uh, like mathematics classes. Let's see it here. If I'm having uh, three plus two I, iota we can say, right? So three plus two I. In this case, I represent the imaginary part. If I am uh, uh, going with the class of M, it should return complex as expected, right? Next one is character data type. The character data type is used to specify the character or string values in variable, right? In the programming, a string is nothing but a set of characters. So for example, if I'm using, uh, like I'm using it here, I'm just giving it here, a single quotes, right? It will be a single character. Let's see the class of this, class of X, right? It should be coming out to be character. If I'm using the string here, let's suppose I'm using now, uh, I'm giving here uh, double quotes, apple, let's suppose, apple. So it is still, it is still the uh, character response, right? Let's see it here, D, again character. So character data type is used to specify the character or string values in a variable. Last one is, raw data type so the raw data type specify values as the raw bytes right uh, what it means like uh, it will be representing the uh, sky values right so we can let's see how we can make use of it first of all let's define one raw variable i'm having a raw variable so i'm using it here uh, one uh, i'm using this uh, one method care to raw okay care to raw okay i'm just uh, putting it here my channel name unboxing big data all right so this is done right now let's print the print this raw variable okay you'll be getting what i'm saying earlier you can see it's a sky values got printed here right so let's see now uh, again try to convert it back first see its class also class of raw underscore var it's showing raw, right? So we can also uh, take this back, right? It is raw to care, right? Let's do it here. Raw to care. So maybe we can write it here, care variable. So raw to care, okay? I'm just putting it here, that raw variable, raw var. All right, now let's print it back, print care, variable right unboxing big data right so here comes the end of this video in which i have defined these six data types with the likes of 
uh, raw data type, then we discuss correct data type, then we discuss complex, integer, numeric, at last logical, right? Uh, rest of the content I'll be covering in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.